Hello guys, welcome back to the new videos of Coding Pi. Today I am going to show you that how you can build facial emotion recognition system. Here you can learn about how you can apply face detection and recognize emotion on top of recorded videos. This is project 13 out of 50 plus AI project. So without wasting time, let's get started and if you are new to our YouTube channel then please hit like and subscribe button. First thing first, what we need to do, just install all the required libraries which is necessary for this project, which include OpenCV Python Headless, NumPy, Gradio and DeepFace. Now as soon as I run the code, installation will start and here as you can see, some of the files are already installed and rest of the files are getting installed. After installation all the requirements successfully, I will quickly move on to the next step where I used to import all the required libraries which include CV2, NumPy, Gradio, DeepFace where cv2 is used for video processing face detection and drawing bonding boxes which is used for annotation next is numpy for numerical operation then gradio is used for creating user interface for machine learning model and finally i used to import deepface to recognize emotions after running the code i will quickly move on to the next step where i used to define video processing function and here as you can see with the usage of def keyword I used to define a function called process underscore video where I used to pass one parameter that is video underscore path. The purpose of this function is to analyze video file, detect faces in each frame, predict the dominant emotion for each detected face and generate output video with bonding boxes and emotion labels overlaid on faces. So for all doing this step by step. First with the usage of CV2, I used to call a video capture class where I used to pass video underscore path. This line of code is used to open the video file for reading frames and it is to be stored in cap variable. Next I used to define a variable called frames with empty list which is used to store process frames. Next I used to load the open CV face detector. This first I used to define a variable called face underscore cascade and with the usage of CV2 dot cascade classifier. Here I used to pass cv2.data.har cascades plus har cascade underscore frontal face underscore default dot xml. This line of code will load a pre-trained har cascade classifier for face detection. Next loop through the video frames. The usage of while loop over the cap dot is opened. This will continue the loop as long as the video file is open. Next I used to call cap dot read function. This line of code will read the next frame from the videos and then it is to be stored in read and frame variable. And finally with the usage of conditional statement, used to break the loop if no frame is read. Next I used to convert each frame to grayscale. So CV2 provide a function called CVT color. I used to pass frame comma cv2 dot color underscore bgr to gray. This line of code is used to convert the frame from bgr to grayscale which is used for face detection and whatever output that comes after it, it is to be stored in gray variable. Next with the usage of face underscore cascade dot detect multi scale function, I used to pass gray variable and set the scale factor that is 1.3. This value control that how much image is reduced at each layer. I used to set minimum neighbor that is 5 which means that higher value reduce the false positive. Finally whatever value that comes after it, it is to be stored in face variable. Next I used to process the each detected face. So with the usage of for loop over the each detected face, I used to extract coordinates like x, y, w and h. Next frame with index y colon y plus h comma x colon x plus w. This line of code will extract face region from the frames and it is to be stored in face variable. Next inside the try and accept block, I used to define a variable called analysis. Then with the usage of deep face dot analyze function where I used to pass face comma actions and then comma enforce underscore detection that is equal to false. This line of code will analyze the face to predict emotions. I also mentioned that action is equal to emotions which signifies that only emotion detection is needed and enforce underscore detection is equal to false which means that it will allow the function to continue even if no face is detected. And finally, whatever value that comes after it, it is to be stored in analysis variable. Next analysis with index 0 with index dominant underscore emotions. This line of code will extract dominant emotion from the result. And finally, it is to be stored in emotion variable. Next, I used to draw rectangle around the face. For this, I used to call cv2.rectangle function where I used to pass frame which represent images 
where rectangle will be drawn. Next is x, y under the round bracket. This will represent top left corner of the rectangle. Next is x plus w, y plus h under the round bracket, which will represent bottom right corner, where w is width and h is height of the rectangle. Next inside the round bracket, I used to pass 0, 0. This will represent the color of the rectangle in BGR format. The finally, I used to mention 2, which represent the thickness of the rectangle. Next, I used to put emotion label on top of face. For this, I used to call cb2.puttext function. I used to pass frame, comma, emotions. Here, frame will represent the image where text to be drawn and emotion represent the actual text string to display. Next is x, comma, y minus 10 under the round bracket. This will represent the bottom left corner of the text. Next with the usage of cv2.font underscore harshi dot simplex. This will represent the font type which is to be used for the text. Then 0.8 represent the font scale. And under the round bracket 0,225,0 represent the color of the text in BGR format. And finally here I used to mention cv2.line underscore aa. This is used to represent the line type for a smoother edge. Next is accept colon continue. This line of code skip the frame if any error occur. And finally with the usage of frames.append function where I used to pass frame. This line of code append the processed frame to the frame list. And finally with the usage of cap.release function. This will release the video file handle. Now quickly I used to move on to the next step where I used to save the process video. For this I used to define a variable called height, width, underscore. And with the usage of frames with index 0.shape, I used to get dimensions of the video frame. I used to define a variable called output underscore video where I used to pass process underscore video dot avi. This line of code represents the output file name. Next with the usage of cv2.videowriter underscore 4cc class where I used to pass asterisk x with line of code specify the video codex and whatever value that comes after it it is to be stored in 4cc variable. I used to call cv2.videowriter class I used to pass output underscore video comma 4cc comma 20 comma width comma height. This line of code will initialize the video writer object as out as variable. Next with the usage of for loop I used to iterate frame over the frames. Then with the usage of out.write function where I used to pass frame. This line of code write each processed frame to the output videos. And finally with the usage of out.release function. This line of code release the video writer. And finally in return statement I used to mention output underscore video. Now finally in last step I used to create user interface using Gradio. And here as you can see first I used to define a variable called iFace with the usage of gradio i used to call interface class where i used to pass fn as variable where i used to call process underscore video function next i used to define inputs as variable where i used to call gr dot video function where i used to pass label function will take input in video format next i used to define output as variable where i again used to call gr dot video function where i pass label I used to define title that is facial emotion recognition and uh, description. And uh, finally with the usage of iFace.launch function I used to deploy the code on Gradio. And as soon as I run the code I will get the public URL. Then after clicking on it I will redirect to the public user interface. And as soon as I upload the video to the application and click on submit option it will start processing. And uh, finally here as you can see facial emotion get detected on top of recorded videos. So this is how you can build facial emotion recognition system. I hope this video is informative. Please do like, share and subscribe for more upcoming projects.